NXL A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, October 2021, Question 5. A company made a profit of £20,000 in its first year of trading, year 1. A model for future trading predicts that the yearly profit will increase by 8% each year, so that the yearly profits will form a geometric sequence. According to the model, we need to show that the profit for year 3 will be £23,328. So as this is compound interest, we multiply by 1.08, so to get the 8% increase, we do this for each year. We want the profit for year three, 20,000 in year one, so we're gonna multiply twice, once to get to year two, once to get to year three. So that's 20,000 times 1.08 squared, which is 23,328 pounds as required. For part B, we need to find the first year when the yearly profit will exceed 65,000 pounds. So to do that, we're going to use this inequality here. So we've got the year one profit of £20,000. We know that each year we will be multiplying by 1.08. The power is n minus 1 because year one is our 20,000. So for year two, we're just multiplying by 1.08 once. For year three, we're multiplying by 1.08 squared and so on and so on. So that's why we've got n minus 1. We're looking for the first year when that profit will exceed 65,000. So we're setting our inequality larger than 65,000. Dividing both sides by 20,000 gives us this. And simplifying the fraction, 1.08 to the power of n minus 1 is larger than 13 over 4. We can now use our log function on the calculator. So the n minus 1 from the power must be larger than log to the base 1.08 of 13 over 4 which is 15.3, hence n must be larger than 16.3, but we want the first year, so we're looking for the first integer that's larger than 16.3, so n is 17. For part c, we need to find the total profit for the first 20 years of trading, giving our answer to the nearest 1,000 pounds. So we're summing a geometric sequence with a first term of 20,000, a ratio r of 1.08, and we're doing 20 terms, so our n equals 20. So using the formula for the sum of a geometric sequence, we see that S20 equals our first term, 20,000, times by 1 minus 1.08 to the 20, so that's our r to the power of n. That's all divided by 1 minus r, which is 1 minus 1.08, which gives us 915,239 pounds, which to the nearest 1,000 pounds is 915,000. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.